friends welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i am doing yet another uh reading vlog it's going to be a week long reading vlog because i have three books that i want to read this week and i think a week is enough time for these three books but um if you saw my la i don't know if this it's not going to be the last video, but I posted a video where I only read uh, books that are going to be becoming adaptations. And this is the second part to that because I had six books that had that theme. Um, so these are the other three books that are going to be becoming movies or TV shows that I want to read before said movie or TV show comes out. So I have three books. I'm going to go through them real quickly. But yeah, these are the three books that I want to read this week. Hopefully it doesn't take me longer than a week. Um, but yeah, this is a week reading vlog. I don't know. <laughs> so the first book that I want to read for this reading vlog is They Wish They Were Us by... I said that's so weird. Um, Jessica Goodman. Um, this is like a mystery thriller. I think it's kind of set in a school, but I don't... I don't think it's dark academia, but it's kind of like these two young girls and it's a mystery thriller. I don't really know, but it's becoming a movie with Halsey, out of all people, and Sydney Sweeney who came out in Euphoria. I love her. She is gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's like I said with Halsey and which is weird because she's like a mom now <laughs> and she's going to be playing a teenager. This is YA, so they're teenagers. And I'm assuming there's some type of murder. There's, like, blood on the cover. It's a mystery. But I don't know exactly, like, what's going to happen. Um, I posted a poll on my story for what book I should get started for this vlog. And everyone's voting for this one. So it seems pretty popular. It's pretty short. So I'm excited to read it. I'm probably going to start off with this one for the vlog. And the next two are contemporaries. So this one... Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen is the second most voted for in the poll. Um, obviously, like I said, it's contemporary. It's romance. Uh, it's about a girl and like a boy and they meet and they fall in love. Um, it's kind of a summary read, I'm assuming. Um, that's what Sarah Dessen usually writes. Um, something to do with bikes, I don't know. But this is becoming a Netflix TV show. I don't know much about the casting. Wait, no, it's a Netflix movie, I believe. Not a TV show. But I don't know anything about the casting. But I just love watching, like, advertations. And having read the book beforehand, like, it just makes me happy. So, I don't know anything about it, but I want to read it only because it's becoming a movie. So, I just want to know, like... <laughs> What's gonna happen, you know what I mean? And obviously, Sarah Dessen is a really, really popular contemporary romance author in the booktube and the book community in general. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what it's about, but I'm sure that you've heard of Sarah Dessen before. Um, and I got a lot of DMs, like, from people that I know in real life, like, knowing who the author is, and they're not really, like, part of the book community, so... I'm excited to read this. And the last book for this um, little reading vlog is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. <sighs> I'm so excited to read this because Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda was one of my favorite books of last year. And I loved the movie and I just finished season two of Love, Victor, which is um, part of like the Simon universe, but it doesn't have a book of its own. It's just a TV show. Um, but I'm super excited to read this. Uh, I really enjoyed um, Becky's writing in Simon. So I hope it's kind of similar. I do believe that this book follows a girl, which I think is going to be like uh, just more relatable to me. Even though I loved Simon, the main character is a boy. So obviously I always tend to relate more to main characters that are female. But I'm super excited to read this. I don't know. I think it's going to be a movie. And I actually am not entirely sure if this is part of the Simon universe. But I, I'm going to go into it like not knowing. And then maybe it'll surprise me. And then maybe I'll find out that's part of the Simon universe. And it'll make me really happy. But if it's not, I hope that, you know, it holds up on its own. And it's a good story um, by itself. I don't know. <laughs> yes, these are the three books. They're fairly short i think the only that's really the only one that's really long it's along for the ride and it's not that bad but they're pretty short so i'm hoping that a week is enough time to read all of these um but i'm super excited for this vlog and reading all of these amazing books and i hope that you enjoy Hi 
friends um i look crazy and tired but it's because it's almost midnight here so i'm gonna do a really quick update so basically i did pick up they wish they were us by jessica goodman because it was the most voted on on the poll that i made on my instagram story and I picked it up and I'm really glad that this is the first book that I picked up because I'm really, really liking it. Um, so I picked it up I think around 7 or 8 and I've just been reading non-stop and I am 216 pages in. So I read all of this today and I'm over the halfway mark. So um, that's really good progress. <laughs> so like I said, I'm really, really liking it. Um, so basically this book follows this group of like rich kids that go to this like private high school and it's called gold coast and basically our main character's best friend um somebody murdered her um the year before or i believe maybe like a couple years back like two years before or a year before something like that i can't remember already but um basically the murderer like the person that did this it's already caught and everything but then some things start coming up and that may not be the person who killed her so now she's like trying to figure this out this book reminds me a lot of one of my favorite books of the year the mary shelley club because there are some things in the school that once you like get to the senior year part like the seniors get to do like initiations to like the younger kids in school kind of like hazing but not really it's more of like all year round like they're basically their pets and they like do everything that they ask but once they go through all of that they kind of get like special like treatment like they're like super popular and they're chosen also not everybody goes through this process but um once they go through that whole process they get like special treatment they're popular um they get like the answers for the tests and all this stuff and like parties and all of that so basically our main character is part of their group so she's like one of the popular girls and the girl that was murdered was also one of the popular girls and that was her best friend so i'm really really liking it like i said it reminded me of the mary shelley club only because of the aspect of like the group and the initiations and like the tasks that they have to do in order to be part of this group or club and it's also reminded me a bit of ace of spades only because of like the setting because it's a school and it's kind of like a preppy um like private school with a lot of kids that have a lot of money but our main character is there on a scholarship so she has like all of this pressure um that she has to do well um to in order to like make her parents proud so i was looking this up a little bit more now as i was reading it and i was looking it up because i wanted to picture like some of these characters and i really i couldn't so i was trying to look up who sydney sweeney and who halsey is playing but there's like no information on that it just says that they're going to be on the show or movie also i thought it was going to be a movie but now i think from what i read from halsey's post from halsey's instagram post it looks like it might be a tv show i think they put on the caption but it doesn't say what characters they're playing or anything else really it says who's directing it and all that but like yeah i don't have a lot of information on the cast so i kind of wanted to know because i'm like I'm trying to think because these kids on this book they're like seniors so like and I think Halsey looks a bit older than a, a senior in high school but like I don't know maybe they'll do some makeup and the wardrobe and everything will come together and she'll look younger but yeah <laughs> So yeah, I'm really, really liking it. Tomorrow, it is Sunday. I actually have to wake up early, go to work, and um, open something. Doesn't matter. Um, I have to like open the center for somebody. I hope you guys can't hear the train, but you probably can. And then after that, I'm actually going to be volunteering for like two hours. So hopefully after that, once I get home, um, I'll probably finish this by tomorrow and then maybe i'll pick up along for the ride or the upset of unrequited i don't know yet maybe i'll do another poll we'll see <laughs>
so I am currently outside. Um, I decided to move outside to finish um, They Wish They Were Us because it's a really nice day and I wanted to get some sun. I actually had to move to the shade in order to film this little clip. But I just finished um, They Wish They Were Us. Today is Saturday and it is only like 5 p.m. And I started this last night, so it was a pretty quick read. Uh, I definitely recommend this to anyone who's participating in any 24-hour readathons. It was a really, really quick read. So like I mentioned in the last clip, this book really, really reminded me of the Mary Shelley Club because of the things that I talked about in the last um, clip, which were like the initiation and like the high school aspect and this like elite club. So I was really, really enjoying this book at the beginning and then after the halfway mark, we got some like flashbacks of the night of when the murder happened and I think after the halfway mark, it kind of went downhill a little bit. Like I did enjoy seeing the flashbacks and learning more about like what they do in order to like for these kids to like get in this club and learning more about the night of what happened and they were like hyping it up as to something like really big happened that night and like some things other than the murder did happen but it was a bit underwhelming as well after the halfway mark i was like i know who did it like i know who it was and i was right um i could just smell it from a mile away for me it was really really obvious and when it comes to mystery thrillers that's what i in enjoyment wise like that's what i look for the most like uh, like the twist not being able to see it coming that's how i like rate my enjoyment so i liked it i think i'm gonna give this like a 3.5 but like um round it up to a four star on goodreads because i really did enjoy it i hope you guys can hear all of the motorcycles in the background so i'm actually ooh, not my hair <laughs> Uh, I am really excited for the adaptation. I think I mentioned that I wasn't sure if it was going to be a show or a movie. And I think I read somewhere that it's going to be a show. And now reading it and as quick of a read as it was, I think that this would be better off as a movie. Because um, I don't know how, like, what they're going to put in a TV show to make that many episodes. But, I mean, they do them. And if they can make a TV show out of this and make it good... Um, good for them but I really don't know like how they're going to like make it longer I guess for the episodes so for me I think a movie would be really good but I still have no idea like what they're making I, I read somewhere show I read somewhere movie and then I also have no idea who Halsey and Sydney Sweeney are playing in this book so it'll be fun to find that out later I did really enjoy it. I did compare this to the Mary Shelley Club, like I said, but I love the Mary Shelley Club so much more than this book. So it was it was a nice feeling, but it wasn't it can't compare. So right now I just put a poll on my Instagram asking everybody whether I should read the upside of unrequited or along for the ride. So I'm gonna let the poll like stay up for a little bit and then I'll start my second book for this vlog. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Hello, everybody. So, today is Tuesday. Yesterday, naturally, it was Monday. Um, and I had a really, really long day, so I didn't read a single page of my book. I am going to be starting also Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen, because it was the one that won the poll um, on my Instagram. So I'll be starting this at some point, but I still haven't yet. Um, yeah, I had a really busy day yesterday. I think I like vlogged a little bit i did like a little clip i was at the botanical gardens for my job and we were doing like a fashion show photo shoot um and fashion shows are like it just it's a long day it was like i worked almost 12 hours so i was there at 7 a.m and i got home around 7 30 p.m so it was a really long day I bought some McDonald's, I rented a scary movie, and I watched it with my mom when I got home. And then after that, I don't even remember, like, laying on my bed. I just passed out. Like, I was so tired. 
so I didn't read but today is Tuesday I have a lot to do today it's literally stressing me out that I'm sitting here talking to my camera instead of doing all of the things that I need to do but tonight I'm supposed to be doing live reading sprints but we'll see because I honestly like I have so much to do that I don't know if I'll be able to today and I also haven't done the thumbnail for it so we'll see but I'm hoping to at least start along for the ride tonight um it's a it's about 400 pages long which is pretty long for a contemporary but we'll see how i like this um i'm excited to start it and i will update you when i actually read something and i have thoughts so yes <laughs> hi friends let's get into it <laughs> so i can't remember the last update that i gave on here so i can't remember whether or not i've said that i've started reading along for the ride by sarah Dessen, but i have um today i am halfway through so i am 200 pages in this book is almost 400 pages long so it's uh it's pretty long for a contemporary but so far i you know it's entertaining i do think our main character is kind of annoying um she is like i'm assuming she's like 18 years old 17 18 because she just graduated high school and this book takes place in that summer between right after graduation and then going to college so this is that summer and basically her parents are both like scholars they're both like professors and they take like school very very seriously so her whole life she was kind of like very um like a nerd i guess she just studied a lot because she wanted to make her parents proud so i guess in that like she just missed out a lot in high school like socially like parties and all of that which i kind of relate to because i they didn't really go to a lot of parties not that i was super smart and like i cared about my school or like my studies but i did miss out a lot on like like going to parties or like all that stuff i can relate in that aspect but as i was saying um her parents are both like professors and they're divorced and her dad now has like uh, another wife and that other wife just had a new child so that is her step sister and she also has a brother and then her brother is in like rome or paris or something and he just kind of calls home whenever he needs like a little bit of money which is like <sighs> how realistic is that like does that actually happen in white like white families like do you just call your parents and ask them for money like that because i can't relate <laughs> like at all like i would never even like i don't know but anyway it's kind of like first world problems it's like this girl like i don't know like she felt like she missed out in high school like i don't know a lot of us do and she's kind of having like a crisis i guess so she goes visit her dad at his house and he lives like by the beach and she just kind of thinks that she's like superior like she thinks she's better than everybody um because of how smart she is and she like this book tries really hard with the like i'm not like the other girls trope like she thinks she's so cool because she only wears black and she's so smart and her mom kind of like taught her like feminism but like bad like not the right feminism like she like they want to like in ways they do talk about how women aren't supposed to just be like sugar spice and everything nice and like i get that women should want to be anything that they want to be 
But like I'm saying, they should want to, like, they should be allowed to be anything that they want to be. And if they do want to talk about clothes and makeup and all of that, that's fine. And then there's like scenes in this book so far where she hears some girls like talking about like perfume and clothes and like being very knowledgeable about those things. And she's like, wow, out of all of the things that you could learn a lot about, like that's what she chose, like that's what she wants to know about. And like, yeah, like she can. What? Why does it matter? Like, and then her mom comes in to like visit her and she's just, they both think that they're so superior because they like literature and they wear black and they don't like pink and it's kind of annoying. But then again, I feel like our main character is kind of noticing that her mom's like, she thinks she's so so cool in that aspect, but she's been like defending her stepmom, which her stepmom is more of like a very girly girl. She has like a boutique and she likes perfume like most girls do. But yeah, so she's been like defending her stepmom. So I guess she's kind of like learning um, the right feminism and like not putting other women down. But yeah, I found that really annoying, like, that whole aspect. But I guess it's also, like, a 2003... This book is from, like, the 2000s, so I guess it's, like, back then, the whole trope of, like, I'm not like the other girls was, like, very big. And, you know, you don't see that a lot anymore because we've learned. But, yeah, <laughs> I just found that annoying. But it's okay. I think the romance is pretty cute. Um, and we'll see how I like this for, you know, I just wanted to rant. But yeah, we'll see how I like it. It's okay whenever those scenes come up when she's like talking about how she feels like she's superior and just smarter and better than other girls. It's just like, girl, chill. You're not. Like, you're really not. Um, <laughs> I'm excited to see how they're going to make this into a Netflix TV sh I mean, movie. I think it's gonna be a movie. Because I feel like now, like, this text, like, I don't think just the way that Netflix is and how they've handled other movies or shows that, like, handle topics like this or, like, when they talk about feminism and stuff or make it very, like, not trendy but very current, I feel like they're not gonna make those mistakes about, like, the whole trope of, like, I'm not like the other girls. I don't know if that makes any sense. But, yeah. I'm excited to see this in a movie form. I will, I do think it's pretty cute so far. Um, and I think it would make a good movie. But we'll see. Um, I'm excited. We're getting a little bit more into the romance um, of the book and like the mysterious past of our love interest. And it's pretty cute so far. I'm liking it. I just found those things to be annoying and also kind of like out of all of the books in the world you make this one into a movie about like a white girl that has like no issues at all and she's just like falling in love like out of all of the stories that we could be telling um, and promoting I guess on Netflix because it's such a huge platform we chose this <laughs> like i understand the appeal and like it's a nice story but then again i don't know i feel like i don't know it's okay it's okay i feel like it's enjoyable it's entertaining i'll let you know what i rated but yeah <laughs> Like, I grew up in Wisconsin, and then at 18, I moved to Texas. Then I was there for six years, and now I'm back. Hi, friends. So, today it is Thursday, and this morning, um, I had a really long day. I think I mentioned on Monday, so that means that I worked a lot of my hours that I needed to do for the week which means that I had a shorter day, so I got to work a little bit later in the day. So I started at around noon, which means that I had the morning for myself, so I actually went um, to the gym, and I read, and I finished Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. So I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. Not another 3 star on the video, but yes, I gave it a 3 star. I think, like I mentioned, I found some things annoying in this book 
like I think I mentioned in the last clip that I feel like our main character just thinks she's better than everybody and that's kind of like she doesn't have kind of like a epiphany that she's like not better than everyone she kind of like thinks about it some at sometimes like seeing other people's equals I guess but like it's not like she doesn't stop thinking about that so there was the whole like um issue with her family and then the romance comes in and then there's the whole issue about her like also thinking that she's better than people and kind of like the romance was like right in between of those two things so like i didn't care for the romance as much i did think it was cute i liked the boys like backstory but i also wanted like a lot of the things in her life to get resolved or like for her to figure things out and it wasn't really like that <laughs> so i did think it was entertaining it was pretty cute i do think that this is going to make a really really good movie but yeah it was enjoyable but it's nothing like crazy and i did have some issues with it so that's why i'm giving it a three star <laughs> but like i said i do think this is gonna make like a really really cute movie like for example i don't like i've never read the kissing booth but i do think that is a pretty entertaining um cute movie but probably if i read the book it would probably be like a three star as well so again it's a three star but i do think that i'm really going to enjoy this movie when it comes out so yeah those are my thoughts on along for the ride um i'm actually about to head to bed and start the upside of unrequited by becky alberts helly which i'm super excited to read but in other, in other news, I mean, I talked to my boss today and we were talking about like vacation days and all of that and long story short, I'm getting the weekend of Thanksgiving off and I just rented a car and I'm going to go drive to New Jersey and I'm gonna go see my bestie, Cammie and that is also Cammie's birthday weekend so we're hoping that a couple of people that live in Jersey like Renee, Kat, and Christina, we can all get together and do like a little Friendsgiving slash celebrate Cammie's birthday. So I'm super excited. I just rented the car and I can't wait. It's like three months away, but I'm so excited. So that is, that is the update. I am, like I said, I'm going to start the upside of Unrequited by Becky Arbitali in about an hour because Cammie's actually going live on her channel. So I'll be reading then. Hello everyone, today is Friday and last night I started The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Alfred Holly and I'm a bit over halfway through so I have this much left which I should be able to finish today, Friday and I'm hoping to finish this before I go out later today because I'm actually going out at around 4 p.m. and I'm gonna meet with Sarah, her channel Sarah Georgia and on Instagram her Instagram is Caffeine and Pages, and she's here from Ohio. And we're meeting up because yesterday was her birthday, so I'm gonna take her to Barnes and Noble and Cheesecake Factory. So that should be a good time. But I do want to finish this before I leave today, and I think it's around noon right now, so I think I should be able to finish this. But my thoughts so far are <laughs> that um, I'm enjoying it. I just feel like not a lot is happening in the book i feel like it just doesn't compare to simon simon was just very fast paced and a lot of things were happening and basically for this one there's not a lot of a plot really it's just kind of like her living her day-to-day -day life i do relate to the main character a lot i love her i love the fat rep in this book um i love getting into her thoughts i feel i feel like a lot of things that she thinks about um are relatable thoughts that I've had in my lifetime and even currently. Um, I do think also when I was younger I was very much like our main character. I was very like boy crazy and like when it came to a crush I was like very obsessive. So I feel like I relate to her a lot in that aspect. Um, and I like those things but when it comes to the plot there's not a lot going on and then I'm also not too crazy about the romance happening in this book so that's why I feel like I'm not as invested in like the story or everything but I do love the characters in this book I feel like Becky Albertalli has a, does a really good job at writing characters 
and I also am loving the little scenes where they connect um, Simon and this book together because this book is from the Simon verse universe so I actually think that this will be a movie the Simon versus the homo sapiens agenda or love Simon was a movie so I think they're also gonna make this a movie so it's like in the Simon verse universe but they also made love victor which is a tv show so i'm not too sure um so we'll see what they end up making this but i think that so far i think that they this would be good as a movie because in tv show form i don't feel like a lot happens in this book in order to have like 10 episodes or anything like that because like i said the plot isn't really there it's just kind of them like hanging out and her going to work and talking to people and it's kind of like day-to-day -day life but there's not a lot of a plot in this so i am enjoying it it's okay it does feel like a three star which i'm kind of sad about because that means that all of the books that i read in this video are three stars which is not a bad rating i think this one is the one i've enjoyed the most out of all of the books that i've read so far um so maybe it'll get a 3.5 or a 4 we'll see how it ends but yeah i think like i said the characters um i do love and i didn't even talk about what this book's about so our main character um she kind of had like she is known to crush very hard and like obsessively and she's had like these 27 crushes um her whole life she's kind of she's a teenager I don't think they've talked too much about like what grade she is in school because it, this takes place in the summertime. She has a twin sister and she has two moms um, and she kind of started a new job and she has a little crush with on the guy that she works with and there's also another guy that she has a crush on kinda um, and yeah it's just kind of her like crushing on people and just hanging out with those people and then things happen and there's jealousy a little bit of drama sprinkled in there but that's kind of what the book's about really it's just her and her crushes and her life obviously it's a pretty fast read like i said i started this last night and i'm almost done so i should be able to finish this in the next hour or so um and i'll let you know what i think about it when i'm done <laughs> Hi friends, so legit an hour later, I am all done with the upside of Unrequited by Becky Albright Halley. Um, obviously, it didn't take me too much longer to finish. It was just an hour of content, so not a lot else happened. So again, kind of my thoughts are still the same. Like, it was a really cute story. There was romance, and it was more about her. I did like a lot about the characters. I liked the fat rap. Um, the characters were cute. We had um, a sapphic romance in there and I related a lot to the main character only because of how she acts and some of her thoughts like anxiety wise and her um, living as a fat young girl. So I related to some of those things um, and I thought it was pretty cute and like I said I did like the connections to the Love Simon, the Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda book. Uh, but besides that, not a lot happened. Uh, it was cute. There was some lessons in there. But again, I think this is going to be more of a 3.5 star. I did enjoy this the most out of all of the books that I read during this video, which is getting, which is why it's getting a half star more than the other one. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed it. Again, I do think that it'll make a good movie. I'm actually not sure if it'll be a movie or TV show. But I'm hoping a movie and I'm actually wouldn't be mad if they changed some things and kind of up the drama a little bit because it might be a little bit of a boring movie if they do it just like the book. So yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a fun time. <laughs> I am super excited to watch all of these adaptations. Um, I believe Nine Perfect Strangers came out and I watched half of the first episode. Haven't continued, but so far the TV show, I feel like it's just a better format for that story. And they're also making it like creepier and a bit more mysterious than the book. So I am enjoying it and I will continue watching that show on Hulu. But yeah, that's it for the week uh, reading vlog. I hope you enjoyed. I will be going out later with Sarah and I'm hoping to film a little um, 
come book shopping with us type of video so look out for that but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>